A pivot table is one of the most useful features in Excel for quickly summarizing data. We're going to analyze a table of income and expenses to show how easy it is to create and use pivot tables. To analyze the data with a pivot table, you will select any cell inside this table and then click Insert Pivot Table. This will open the Create Pivot Table dialog box. Excel has already selected our table, which is called Vertex 42. You can verify that it has the right data selected by looking at the green dotted lines around the selected cells. When you click OK, Excel creates a new worksheet tab with an empty pivot table. If you have selected a cell inside the pivot table, you will see a few new tools. There are tabs in the ribbon called Analyze and Design, and you can also see a window pane on the right side of the worksheet called the Pivot Table Field List. If you click outside the pivot table, these tabs in the field list disappear. The Field List window pane is the tool that you'll use to build and edit your pivot table. Adding fields to a pivot table is easy. Simply click and drag any of the fields listed in the top area into any of the filters, columns, rows, or values areas. If you add the account field into the rows area and the income and expense fields into the values area, then you can see a total sum of income and of expenses for each account. Instead of analyzing your income and expenses for each account, you could view them for each category. Remove the account field by clicking and dragging it outside the field pane, then drag the category field into the rows area. You may be interested in each category's net transaction, which is its income minus expense. You can add this into a single column by creating a calculated field. Go to Analyze, Fields, Items, and Sets, Calculated Field. In the Insert Calculated Field window, name the new field Net Transaction. You want the formula to be equals income minus expense. When you push OK, the field is added to the table. If your values don't show up as dollars and cents, you can change the formatting by selecting the field in the field pane. Then go to Value Field Settings, Number Format, select Currency, and click OK. You can summarize your income and expense by month by adding the Date field to the Columns area. This will help you see how much your expenses vary from month to month and it will help you compare your monthly spending to your budgeted amount for each category. Excel has a new timeline feature, which allows you to easily select a specific month or a range of months to view in your pivot table. To add the timeline, you go to Analyze, Insert Timeline, check the date field, and then click OK. Then you can use the timeline to select which months to include in your pivot table. In addition to seeing the amount of each individual transaction, you may also want to see a running balance for each account. This can be especially useful for reconciling your worksheet with your bank statement. You can get ready to add a running balance by switching around the fields in the pivot table so they're easier to see. Move the date field into the rows area, the account field into the columns area, and keep the net transaction field in the values area. You want to see the running balance on each day you have a transaction, so you can right-click a date and select Ungroup. This will show the net transaction amount by day and by account. Now you can right-click anywhere on the net transaction field inside the pivot table and select Show Value As, then choose Running Total In and pick Date. Now the pivot table shows each account's balance as a running total by date. Pivot tables are a powerful tool to help you summarize your data. You can see income and expenses separated by date, account, or category, all without entering formulas. This can help you understand where your money is going and make better decisions with your finances. You can find more tricks with pivot tables, as well as Excel tips and budgeting tools at vertex42.com.